Yo, what's going on my people guys? We are back doing another creepy horror game for you guys today And this one's gonna be very interesting seeing that you guys want a more story-based horror game So I got you. Let's just see how this one goes, but let's just go ahead and dive right on in Let's do it. All right guys So we are playing a game called do not take this cat home One of you guys recommended this on the community discord. Let's go ahead and check this out. Let's get it. Let, let's go Let's go. I think it's a story-based game where you oh you actually okay Yep, you're not having a great day as usual. Okay, let's get it. This is a visual novel based horror, I think. Oh, great. It's the first time in a while that I've that you felt like going out. But in the middle of your walk, it starts to rain. Typical, but maybe this is just a sign that you should have stayed at home today. It'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow. Yeah, you can always try again tomorrow right you turn to head home when huh what was that there are only a few people around here on the street makes sense due to the increase of missing persons around the area recently well that and the weather but none of them react to the sound at all curiosity is guiding your steps you follow the sound and entrance of your of the dark dingy alleyway you timidly enter the alley and walk forward. Okay. The ground is dampened by the rain makes your steps sound louder and more confident than you actually feel. Yeah. Finally, the sound source comes from the view and the cold, dim light of the alley. At the end of the alley, in a big cardboard box, it's a cat. Huh? Guess that should have been obvious. It's an interesting looking cat. It's Pretty yellow eyes shine like gold among the dark sea of its black fur. It puts its front paws in front of the edge of the box and looks up at you. Nope. Nope. You have been chosen. <laughs> you have been chosen, man. The, the cat... It's so cute. <laughs> and it definitely knows it. You never had much of an opinion one way or the other about cats before. But they're all like this one. It's a shock that they haven't already found a way to rule the world. You don't think you mind bowing down to this feline overlord? Feline overlord? Okay, you're kind of diving a bit too deep into it. You look around the alley with a small frown. Who leaves a cat in a cardboard boxes these days anyway? Wouldn't they just jump out and leave the box eventually? The cat doesn't answer you. The cat doesn't answer you, obviously. It also doesn't do as you suggest and leave the box. It's just looking at you. As if waiting for you to make the next move. Don't take the cat home. I mean, that's the title of the game. Do not take the cat home. Take the cat home. Of course we got to. Curiosity. <laughs> we gonna get put in a box ourselves. You know what? You reach into the box and pick the cat up, holding it out in front of you. Why not? You're all alone and, well, I'm kind of in the same boat myself, so. You bring the cat, wait, you bring the cat close. You didn't realize it was shivering until just then, but slowly breathes easier as it presses into your chest. Why not stick together, right? At least for a little while. It's already over. You think a little while will pro most likely, wait, you think a little while will probably be more like a day. You'll be responsible to take it, uh, take it to a shelter tomorrow, but for now, let's get you out of the rain, okay? <coughs> About to bring the little cat home. You stop by a small local pet store for some cat food, then head back home. You live in the modest apartment. One bedroom, one bath of wow, that's some fancy living. One you living alone in it. So it feels weird having another living being inside there for so long. Even if it's just a cat. After locking the front door, you're placing the cat on the front. Oh, <laughs> you're placing the cat on the floor. You watch. You watch for a moment as you curiously explore the new environment. Leaving the feline to its own devices, you set about making the both of you some dinner. Okay. 
you take out the can of cat food and open it in front of the tab on top. You put some cat food on the saucer, then click click your tongue to call the cat over to you. Wait, it perks up at your beckoning and rushes over to you. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Let me save. Anyway. Okay. It looks at the plate of food. And completely ignores it. I guess it's not hungry. Not hungry, I guess. You try not to let it annoy you. The cat doesn't understand the concept of money to appreciate that you spent your hard-earned cash on it. That's facts. It's just a cat, after all. I'll just leave you here to get hungry later, okay? I'll just leave it here until you get hungry later, okay? The cat rubs his body against your legs with a purr. You smile. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough of that uh, of a thanks for you. It follows you into the kitchen as you start your own dinner. You decide that you had enough ingredients for a sandwich. Bread toasted. Mayo and mustard spread. Turkey and cheese lettuce perfectly placed. I'd probably get rid of that mustard, but you got me on the sandwich. Tomato sauce. Ow. You wince and you cut your finger with a knife slicing a tomato. Stupid. You feel a little bit embarrassed for such a blunder and sigh tossing the knife onto the cutting board you're about to head into the bathroom for a bandage when the cat hops onto your counter it sniffs the knife and meows almost pointedly at you okay <laughs> don't worry I'm alright it was just an you watch as the cat starts to Lick lightly but enthusiastically at the blood on the knife. This cat's a demon. This cat's a whole demon. At your blood. You're so shocked that the time you you come to your senses, the knife has been completely licked clean. The cat sits back, staring at you. You're its next meal. It's over. You feel a little uneasy. Sure, cats are meat-eating predators, but well, that was a little weird, right? Sure, you're no cat expert, but that was definitely not something an ordinary cat would do, right? That cat is hungry for you. Well, regardless, you're, they just put this music back on like nothing's happening, bro. You're not about to abandon a cat in need while it's still raining outside. Not after all your efforts. You're gonna take it to the shelter tomorrow anyway. What's one night of awkwardness? Weird or not, it's just a cat. The rest of the evening unfortunately goes downhill from here. Oh god. Even after covering up your finger cut with a bandage, the cat keeps trying to lick at your wound. Dude, the cat is tasting you! <laughs> Bro, while you're eating your sandwich, while you're cleaning up the kitchen, while trying to watch TV, you gently push the cat away every time, but you're starting to get worried at the strange behavior. What if it gets a taste of for? What if it get a taste of blood and thinks your food now? You're not sure what you'll do if it starts to get more aggressive. You keep thinking about the cat food sitting in the corner, untouched. <coughs> Ugh, come on, enough already. You shove it away a little force, a little more forcefully this time, out of annoyance. You feel bad immediately, but before you can do anything, the cat meows sharply at you and dashes off uh, around the corner into the hall. You sigh deeply. At this point, you just worry that it's gonna take a bite out of your in your sleep, dude. That's what it's gonna do. Maybe a vet will have an idea on how to calm it down. You can only hope. You don't, you don't have many other options left other than tossing the cat out in the rain. After finding the number of the local vet, you pick up... The lights just went out. Great, just great. Rain must have knocked out the power. You check up on your... Wait, well, you check your cell phone only to find that it's out of batteries. Must have just forgotten to charge it before leaving out earlier. The outing had just been so spur of the moment that I had no doubt it messed with your usual routine. You grab a flashlight and turn it on. It's quiet. 
It's too quiet. Did the rain stop? But then, why did the power go out? You look outside. The sky is pitch black. What time is it? You turn to check the clock. Oh! It says, what does that say? Kill! Oh! The cat sits on top of your digital clock staring at you. Thinking now you realize the clock shouldn't have been working at with that power outage. Bro, but the numbers are lit up. Is telling you it's going to eat you and going completely haywire the cat stares at you completely still you think it was a statue if you didn't know any better it's not giving off any indication that it's alive it's not blinking it's not even breathing but its eyes this isn't normal you're afraid you want to run but you're afraid of letting that cat out of your sight you consider tossing the cat out after all. But as soon as the thought enters your head, you feel a sharp urge to vomit. Those eyes, it holds you still. Even with your flashlight trained on it, its pupils are large. Oh, 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 oh! The flashlight flickers. It turned my light off. And the cat is gone. Fear immediately grips your mind. The silence punctuated with the rapid pumping of blood in your heart. It's overwritten as your ears slowly start to pick up the sound of static around you. How is this clock working with no power? You don't know why such a question matters at the moment. But you feel as if having the answer will make sense out of everything that's happening. The order will be restored. That order will be restored. Oh, you're talking about just being normal. I'm about to say, is he being hypnotized? Never mind. But no answer comes to mind. You're back away from the clock and feel as if the air itself coils tightly and abruptly in response. Like a predator is prepared to pounce. But waiting. Waiting for your next move. But you're afraid to move. You're afraid to even take a breath. But you can't stay still forever, right? Whatever is watching you, you can already feel its impatience. It's too eager. And you don't know how you know this. But you can sense it clearly as if it was whis whispering. Oh, God. It's oh, that was creepy. It was in my ears. <laughs> It went from this ear to this ear. No, no. Right into your ear. Right into your soul. It won't let you wait it out. Now that you could, even if you did. If it did. I messed that up. I'm leaving it in there. <laughs> you can't stay here. You have to run. With this thought, a sudden primal instinct awakens within you making you tear yourself into a hasty burst of movement, of action. But you're still weak from the fear grip on your mind. Your legs tangle together under your haste and you fall into the ground. This is bad news. <laughs> My boy bought the... Huh? A sharp pain explodes in the center of your foot. At first you think you've broken your ankle. But something warm and wet trickles down your length, wait, the length of your foot, pulling underneath it? What? You hear the sound of a metal scrape that, scrape on tiles after skidding across the floor as if you've been kicked. What? Wait, widen from your fall, you look up in the daze and see the object glint, glinting in a strange light coming from the outside. The light pouring from in your new open front door. Huh? The light pouring from your now open front door. Somebody broke in? Thoughts of how, when, who, what in regards of your inex inaccessible... Wait. <laughs> I 
thoughts of how, when, who, what in regards to your- It bends down and lap the blood dripping from the blade. What? Bro, you picked up a demonic cat. I guess I'll save it though. I'll save it. Your senses slowly begin to overwhelm you. The chill of the air starts to suffocate you under its weight. The sound of your sh shaky breaths dis- Wait, disorient? Okay, disorient against the static now piercing your skull. The dryness of your tongue spreading on your throat. What? The incomprehensible sight of the stray you've taken in. Licking away at the kitchen knife. Once again, completely clean. The scent of blood from the fresh wound of your foot. Blood? Golden eyes slide up into you to you as if in response to your sudden realization. Blood. You're hurt. Your foot is bleeding. You're bleeding. You're bleeding. The cat barely moves, shoulders twitching as you can as just considering the act of pouncing forward. That cat's gonna eat you. It's going to eat you. But you're already on your feet and out the door. You run, or rather limp, down the empty street. The sky is black and bleeding red. But there's a strange light emitting from no, from nowhere that casts everything else in white. Oh, that's creepy. The houses, the trees, the road, even you. Everything, except your blood. That you can just barely glimpse the bloody imprints of the injured foot that leaves your wake in every impact it makes with the ground. It hurts, it hurts, but you can't stop, you don't stop. Not when the shadows grow around you, not when you feel a gaze in your eyes, wait, not when you feel a gaze of eyes all over you, not when the road ahead is, not when the road ahead of you is darkened by the long shadow of something behind you. Even then, you don't stop running because if the cat's right there ahead <laughs> what? what if that's the cat right there ahead of you you're cooked then <laughs> what in the world is behind you dude do we look behind us or keep running i think we're let's we look behind us oh dude we're, we're done huh Interesting. How very, very interesting. Ending zero. It begins. Ending zero? Hold up! Hold the heck up, man! <laughs> I want to see what... Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold the heck up. Let's just fast forward to that option again, all right? Hold on one second. Okay, keep running. What we got? Huh. Interesting. How very, very interesting. So it, it's the same thing. So nothing changes between those two endings. We just still get ending zero. Okay, that's fine. So this is what I'm gonna do, guys. It's an ending for this game. I'm gonna upload part one for you guys. I did already, by the time you guys are seeing this outro, I've already done part two. If you guys want part two, part two is crazy. I've already played it. I'm already beating it. If you guys want part two, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more of this because there's multiple endings in this game. So, yeah, definitely let me know. But do not take this cat home with you. Please, even if you're chosen, don't do it. <laughs> this junk is crazy. I never thought to like this game that much. But thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe if you are new. If you guys got any other story-based horror games we can check out, then I'll be down to go ahead and check them out for you guys. But regardless, like I said, hit the like button, hit the sub button, join Legendary Army today. Yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.